Today certainly feeling like a fall day with temperatures starting off in the 40s and we're only expected to get up into the 60s by this afternoon. The good news is we are looking at lots of sunshine. We had a cold front come through last night that brought us some showers and some downpours. Behind the front we are much cooler and breezier as well. So looking at your 24, we're going to show lots of sunshine for your day today. But highs are only expected to get up into the middle and upper 60s for the valley. Maybe even some lower 60s for the higher elevations. So a very cool and fall like day today. Now as we head into the evening hours, we are going to continue to maintain mostly clear skies. Those temperatures will fall back down into the 50s pretty quickly and then bottoming out eventually in the 40s once again. So it'll be another cool start to your Monday. But then tomorrow is shaping up to be another nice day with some sunshine and it will be a few degrees warmer as well. Now as we take a look at our current conditions from our Agawam sky cam, you can see that we are looking at mostly clear skies. We've got lots of blue sky out there and we do have temperature right now sitting at 56 degrees with a breeze coming in now out of the west at 12 miles per hour. So definitely a little bit on the breezy side this morning and we are going to be continuing to maintain a bit of a breeze this afternoon. Temperatures across southern New England, we are already getting up into the 60s across portions of of eastern Mass, the Cape and the Islands. We're at 64 right now in Chatham, 61 in Boston, 59 is your temperature in Providence, and we're at 60 right now in New Haven. But right now here in western Mass, we are still holding on to the 50s. Dew points everywhere are very cool and refreshing, and that's because our cold front came through yesterday. So now we're left behind with some dew points in the 40s and 50s. That's right where we like to see it for us to really not feel any humidity. So very comfortable out there, and we're going to continue to feel comfortable dew points as we head in through at least Wednesday. Wednesday with dew points in the 40s and 50s. It's not until about Thursday and Friday where we start to see those dew points climbing up a little bit, getting into the upper 50s to near 60s. So it might feel a touch muggy out there, especially in the afternoons when temperatures are in the 80s on Thursday and Friday. But overall, we're not talking about anything oppressive. And the next couple of days are going to be really refreshing out there in terms of our humidity. Satellite and radar right now, we're looking at mostly clear skies, widening our view out a little bit more. There's our cold front that came through last night, bringing us those showers and downpours, now moving well offshore. And we are going to be looking to have a pretty nice stretch of weather, at least for the next few days, with a slight bump in the road. Now, as we head into to the rest of the day today, a blend of sun and clouds. In fact, we'll probably go mostly sunny, if not completely sunny at times. Tonight, mostly clear. Tomorrow morning, we wake up again, mostly sunny. So a pretty nice stretch of weather. But then here comes that bump in the road. We have a weak area of low pressure that's going to come through later on Monday, primarily Monday night, and that looks to give us a chance to see maybe a few showers. Luckily, this looks to happen after the sun goes down on Monday. It's a quick moving system, so by the time the sun comes up Tuesday morning, we're going to be looking at dry conditions once again, and that will allow for high pressure to build in. High pressure promotes sinking air that stabilizes the atmosphere, so when we see high pressure overhead, that usually means we are going to be looking at good sunshine and even some light breezes as well with high pressure almost moving directly overhead. So once we start on Tuesday going into Wednesday, we're going to be on tap for a beautiful stretch of weather as high pressure controls our pattern. Each afternoon for the next several days, we are going to see those temperatures climbing. So by the time we head into Wednesday, we'll be back up to the lower 80s for daytime highs. And then by the time the biggie opens on Friday, we'll see temperatures back into the middle and upper 80s. So perhaps maybe even a little bit of a summertime feel and that dry weather looks to continue continue a little bit past the Big E going into next weekend and maybe even into the following week as well. So really a nice stretch of weather on tap.